guys, so this week I decided to do the Wonderly tag for the month of April, which is Curate. So I'm going to walk you around my house a little bit and show you some of my collections of things. Um, I collect the typical things that people tend to collect. I have a book collection that's spread out throughout the entire house. Movies, TV show stuff on DVD. Um, you guys will see. So. Let's get started. So this is probably my newest collection. Um, back in the fall I decided that I wanted to invest some money into something that would possibly at the end of the day be worth something. So I decided that I was going to buy a set of coins offered by the Canadian Mint. So these ones are for this year and they're ten dollar silver coins. Um, this one is an Anukshuk which is a Inuit symbol that you see rocks and bits of pieces of stuff all stacked up to sort of look like a person. So that was the January coin. Um, then there's, of course, a bit of Canadiana with the beaver and another one with the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. So this one is actually a gift for my brother, so hopefully he doesn't find my vlogs. I got him the first one of these for Christmas. It was actually supposed to be for his birthday, but it didn't come out in time. And this is a dinosaur coin, and it's a 25 cent silver piece. You could never spend it, um, but it has a pterodactyl on it, and it actually glows in the dark. I believe there's going to be four of these, so whenever they've been released, I've been buying them for him. Uh, this is the second one in the set, so this will be a birthday present for him in the fall and hopefully another one will have come out for Christmas, so that makes Christmas shopping easy. So that's one of the things that I started to collect. As you can see, I collect TV, movies, DVDs. Um, there's books on this bookshelf, but only on the bottom two shelves. Everything else is either all DVDs or some of my the stuff right here is all um, Comic-Con type stuff that I've collected over a couple of years. I also collect bobbleheads, so the ones up here are all of my Star Wars bobbleheads and my Game of Thrones bobbleheads. I need to still buy the second series of the Game of Thrones bobbleheads. Up here I have um, the Hobbit bobbleheads and some Disney villain Wizard of Oz type bobbleheads. In this bookshelf I have my CDs from when I still used to collect CDs um, and I have all sorts of different frogs because I collect frogs. So there's this guy that was given to me at some point, a little police officer guy, um, just odds and ends that sort of get tucked inside bookshelves, as the case may be. I also have all of my cookbooks. This whole shelf is all cookbooks. So whenever I need inspiration for something, I come and I look in here and pull out a book and see what I have. Again, more books, more frogs. I have a little Lego Serenity here. Um, my John Green box set that I bought when Tiffios came out. So this is sort of my hardcover section. They tend to all live in here. And in my upstairs office I have another shelf which has a lot of my paperback and collection type books on it. So again there's bits and pieces that are tucked up in there with things that probably don't belong up there but get collected there anyways. Um, one of the other things that I collect that's not really anything that I can buy but is bits and pieces and memories. So I have a drawer that's from my jewelry box that basically has shells and rocks and stones and little bits of semi-precious um, things in it that come from places that I've been. Some of them I have memories of where they came from, some of them I'm a little fuzzy on the details. Um, this was probably the first rock that I ever picked up. Um, I thought it was kind of cool 
I got it when I was 11 and I went on my first trip without my parents. My best friend's parents took myself and her and her family to the Okanagan and I picked this stone up there. Uh, this one, it's a little piece of crystal. I picked up in Greece when it was my parents 40th wedding anniversary trip. So I picked that up and put it in my pocket off of the beach somewhere, washed up. Um, I have this one, which I always thought would make a cool necklace or pendant or something like that. So I always kept it. Um, I picked this one up the very first time that I ever went to San Diego with a friend of mine. And then I have seashells that I got when I went to Cuba for the first time. And then again, I have little bits and pieces of seashells and rocks and, and whatever that I've picked up on trips to places. Some of them will be from Vancouver, um, some of them will be from California. So they go in my drawer anytime that I see one when I go somewhere new that is a memory that I can keep. So that's probably my most precious collection that I have. So that's what I collect. See you next time. Bye.